All right, here we go. We got the finals. We got OE versus Italian X. And OE, whew, getting second place in that EU tournament prior to this. It's been a long day. It's probably a little bit tired. Maybe got a little, little bit of that fatigue setting in. We'll see if OE's able to take it versus Italian X, uh, another Brazilian representative that uh, is, a, is an amazing player. All right, we've seen Italian X in a ton of tournaments. Good to see Italian X making it far in Duels Room Tower 17 as well. So, definitely going to be an awesome finals to watch. So, let's go ahead and get into game one of OE versus Italian X. We are about to get started. Um, so, yes, we will have another tournament of five Swiss rounds and a top four cut tomorrow for NA and EU. And there it is. We are getting into the game. So, game one of the finals of Duels of Rutera 17, OE versus Italian X. Let's see who's going to be able to take it. Who you got? Oh, I got OE. He's got spider aggro. He's a caster. This is a no-brainer. Sorry, Italian X. I love you to death, my man. All right. Oh, so we boy. know OE's lineup now. It's pirate, discard, spider. Uh, Pirate, discard, spider. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now that we're seeing discard. Yep. 100%. So that is a full discard lineup, and I love it. And on the side of Italian X, if I saw correctly, he's got... Um, this Garen Bannerman, which I'm going to assume is harrowing, given that Garen is the only champion. This could actually just be the elite deck. Uh, I'm actually willing to double down on that since we do see the Vanguard Sergeant all the way on the right. So I'm going to assume this is harrowing elites. Yeah, definitely elites. Um, yep. To the left of that, I saw scouts in his lineup. Don't know what that third deck is, though. Yeah, and if anybody is wondering why the heck the screen looks like this, that is because Italian X is playing on mobile. Uh, that's where we're grabbing the stream from. We are dedicated, folks. We are dedicated. He is, like, on a train somewhere in Brazil, like, streaming this on his phone um, just so we can bring this content to you guys. And, you know, this is, I, I got to say, on the side of OE, having this discard aggro as well, this is a product of the type of format that we're in because we are able to have Noxus in the spider aggro deck as well as discard, and that's not something that we typically see. Speaking of things that we don't typically see, Italian is going to miss turn one and turn two. Yeah, wow. In a Demacia deck, talk about feels bad, man. Looking like we're going to miss turn three here in a second if he doesn't draw a three drop. Uh, yeah, granted. Uh, I mean, he doesn't get too punished for it. Four damage is actually kind of... I don't want to say it's light coming Ooh. out of him. Oh, yeah, this is looking real bad. That double Ranger's Resolve... Oh, man, and Draven as well. A really good curve on the side of OE. Uh, I, I mean, the spinning axe into the vision could make for a completely devastating open attack, and Italian X just has to pass it right back over. Says, yeah, I actually just have nothing. And now a day late and a dollar short, the Vanguard Sergeant is going to come to the hand. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to let that one slide. I said it on X. <laughs> you, 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 you actually just said short on stream. Yeah. <laughs> now you did too. I just said that oh man i'm like 12 at heart all right come on <laughs> um so yeah this this hand is terrible this hand is absolutely terrible like i don't see how italian x actually comes back from this without some sort of ridiculous i don't like see we don't have deck list so i can't even tell you what is outside yeah. right now i mean i i think you have to throw out this ranger's resolve to protect one of these silver wings yeah it's it's that bad it's that but bad. that actually i mean that doesn't actually work because of the spinning axe and oh it looks like you might even use it proactively anyway to get the vision down or something along those lines or the whirling death okay to save the arena battlecaster so i think oe wrecking oe seems like uh, as we've seen him play aggro seems like he's able to recognize really quickly kind of what his opponent is dealing with for a hand and he's able to recognize points where he can go in even harder and that's exactly what aggro needs to do is just pedal to the metal and if you know you can put that pedal through the metal even further uh yeah you're doing it wow and a relentless this is terrible hugh boy look at this hand um i'm i see it trust me i see it um it, oh man that's so i feel so bad for italian x because this is like what did what did you do to deserve this <laughs> like this oh man and even the rummage yeah, this is just lethal on the following turn out of a, out of OE unless I don't Italian X top decks judgment. <laughs> and even then, there's a decent chance that OE can kill the unit. <laughs> if listen, 
if we have a judgment that top deck that's top deck vitality decks and keeps him in the game, I will take back everything I have ever said about judgment. If if that actually happens, we get a top deck judgment and he lives. This is the part where like I would slip a judgment on top of Italian yeah. deck if we were in person. I'd be like, hold on a second, I gotta I gotta hear him eat his words and <laughs> slide you that one. Uh, I'm just trying to play the odds here. I mean, the odds that that happens is very <laughs> extremely low. probably zero, yeah. uh, given the potential deck list out of Italian. Actually, yeah. generally do not see these decks playing Judgment. Wow. So this is. Uh... Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Somebody in chat, wait, one, two, three, four, five. He's going to have seven, man. He's actually going to be one short of judgment. Yeah, because well, because he played Relentless yeah. Pursuit. No, he's so he's not short. playing to that out, which would lead me to believe it's not in the deck. And he had Vision. <laughs> this is, this this hurts me. Oh, we, you rascal. <laughs> the surrender. This, this, that, that hurt me. You're supposed to like that. This, this <laughs> you're the aggro cat no 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 i do i you know what's and I'm funny the bad boy that's the dynamic that we have here this is supposed to make you feel good we're about to have like what i think is going to be the quickest finals ever like <laughs> that is not out of the question i'm gonna i'm gonna post this on youtube and it's gonna be like a 10 minute long video and people are gonna be like wait this is all of the finals how is this it's gonna 10 be minutes? five minutes of an intro <laughs> yeah <laughs> jesus Oh man! So let's see what the uh, the next up deck. Well, I'm curious as to what Italian X banned. I imagine it's the spider. Never mind. It's gonna be the pirate that was banned. Which I don't know. See, personally, I guess I'm more worried about the spider aggro decks because I know the strength that it has, and uh, I think that this mid range bannerman, or whatever you want to call it, not necessarily mid range, uh, Shadow Isles bannerman. Harrowing Elite, bannerman? whatever deck har is this harrowing you think is there harrowing? uh it's got shadow isle in it and there's no shadow isle champion generally we see that as harrowing yeah actually didn't we see this in one other tournament we saw one person play it with harrowing right? yeah uh, i oh yeah actually, we called it harrowing larger but well, yeah we called it um, harrowing remember <laughs> no <laughs> yes uh but the thing that i did want to say is that um the the for the fallen actually combos really well with the harrowing because it lets you refill your entire board yeah oh yeah 100 percent um and I, I do think this is a good matchup for Italian X. I think that he'll have plenty, now that he's actually drawing things, <laughs> anything, um, I think he'll be able to, to stave off any aggression from OE. So at this point, I think OE is just, so <laughs> OE, knowing that he's been playing for quite some time, I think OE knows this is a bad matchup. He's probably going to just shove everything on the board and just hope that he out top decks I mean, how else how else do you play aggro my guy i mean that's a good um, point <laughs> but the vanguard defenders are actually going to do a lot of work in this matchup and being that oe went for the open attack i think it makes a lot of sense for italian x to actually just throw down the second battlesmith and try to get all of these units just as large as possible yeah uh, i gotta agree and it looks like he is going to go ahead and do that uh just blocking the token risking that extra damage which i mean that might come back to bite him in the butt i mean this i do still think italian x has the advantage in this matchup but anytime you're making the active decision to take more damage from an aggro deck that's always a risk and right now that risk didn't pay off at all because we are seeing the trade onto this battlesmith with this spiderling now wow but he still develops another battlesmith and then can get down two fearsome blocking defenders never mind we're oh. going for the vanguard redeemer Ooh. Gonna pull us a Vanguard Sergeant. I'm starting to remember the names of the Vanguards. Um, wait, you're saying you're starting to remember the names of the Vanguards? Yeah. I mean, we've cast these a few times, and I, there have been a lot of times where we're just like, I don't know any of these. There's so many Vanguards in this game. What do we do? Yeah, the Vanguards Vanguard that never get played. Vanguard is uh, <laughs> starting to oh, starting to end here. And for the and that the spell is for the Fallen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that eight mana spell that uh actually when we saw that uh garrowing deck uh that that i mentioned in the past I have no memory oh, of calling oh it that. we called it garrowing come on that's so easy darrowing garrowing come on let's really come on come on I mean, don't lie don't lie don't you lie boulevard <laughs> straight up have no memory of agreeing to this let alone <laughs> calling it that Oh, man. But uh, it, it does work very well with that. Um, you are able to usually get a pretty cheap for the Fallen off. And uh, not only that, able to get a lot of units with it as well. So we can start to see some of the aggression coming out from Italian X here, getting these units onto the board now. There's no world in which OE is ever going to want to trade whatsoever. You are just trying to win next turn. You are only going to get two damage through on the attack. I think that all the damage Did that you, you got... next turn? I, OE? I mean, possibly. It depends on what's in hand. Really? Well... Uh, this Nocturne's not leveled, right? So, 
Oh. I, okay, but even a non-leveled Nocturne yeah. does make everything no longer a fearsome blocker, or at least the two units True. anyways. So yeah. there's some sort of window where we could have that come down from OE. Um, on top there's seven. Yeah, well, yeah. But even without Nocturne, there's two with the Saboteurs. That's going to put Italian X down to 10. 10 damage is not out of the question with this deck, and, and that's... It's just so much damage that it could theoretically do on either a wide board or a, a just burst of a bunch of spells. It really is going to depend on the hand of OE. If OE's hand is a lot of units, that ain't going to get him too far against this deck. And I would imagine it's not, given that he did just entirely float turn four. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that the Celestial Dragon is what popped out of that unspeakable. Oh, no, nothing popped out of the unspeakable heart because yeah. it was the first thing that he had played that turn. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to see single combat killing the Elise. Italian X really trying to preserve his life total here, understanding that OE has a lot of spells you know, not wanting to get set up for something like a decisive maneuver or a brother's bond here. Or another unspeakable horror onto this battlesmith, apparently, because not even lining up the battlesmith with this spider token to prevent that one damage. Again, risking taking just a little bit of damage to preserve his field presence and tempo. Let's see what the response is from Oe. I can't imagine what you play in response to single combat. There's no way you're killing this vanguard right like it's no i think it would have to be noxy and fervor onto one of the dying units into the face of italian x but then you're not killing the vanguard defender i think is the consideration but mm. we are going for okay. fervor yeah that's gonna be face so now i mean we're at seven i'm pretty sure we survive an attack next turn from italian x just with this one spiderling uh blocker possibly i don't know this battlesmith yeah. is gonna one two maybe not actually we might actually be able to go wide yeah. enough Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Never mind. If we play the Vanguard Sergeant, and play, we can play four Demacia, I think, on the same. T no, we're one short. Never mind. We're one mana short. We'll, we'll only have eight mana next turn. Ooh, an Unspeakable Horror is not Decimate. No, but it is one damage, and it is also one lifesteal that puts him more towards actually surviving next turn. Uh, Huh, this is interesting. Oh, all right, well, now we're definitely going to live. So I think we're fine. Interesting. I mean, I mean we're fine, but... You still have to win the game, and you're going to lose your entire board here on the following turn. I, I'm curious to see what came out of this unspeakable horror. There are quite a few bad hits, a couple of good ones as well. Uh, it's always Doom Beast. We already know that. Well, last year was the cele <laughs> or last match, rather, it was the Celestial yeah. Dragon. <laughs> Eclipse Dragon, yeah. Yeah. Yep, but we shall see here. Uh, I mean, OE really does just need one more turn to win this game. So at this point, it's just whether or not he has the cards in hand to deal five damage. We'll see here. We also see from Italian X, there's nothing like a single combat in his hand to negate something like a Noxian Fervor. And, you know, thinking back now to that single combat being proactively played at uh, defending against the Elise, you know, maybe you don't do that, uh, you know, just kind of saving it for when that Noxian Fervor does go off. I mean, that might have been a mistake on the side of Italian X. It would have saved him one damage because you would have taken the two from the Elise attack. Well, no, not if he just blocked with the Battlesmith. Oh, uh, then you're not blocking... Oh, blocking with the Battle... Well, Battlesmith can't block the least. Well, yeah, but one of the... I don't think everything was fearsome. I think he could have blocked with one of the other yeah, it was, attacks. Yeah, I mean, you would have had to rearrange a little bit, but yeah, you could have yeah. blocked a Legion Saboteur with it. Yeah, I mean, you could have rearranged it that way, but then you're not playing as aggressively, um, putting your opponent on a short clock, but I really think it just comes down to... Oh, does OE have Burn or, very specifically, Darius? Well, it's not Darius now, for now, anyway. If it was Darius, I would have just picked game, right? Um, yeah, probably. And and this is what leads me to believe again, though. I mentioned both turns. Yeah, there's Decimate. Wow. I, okay, I mentioned both turns. There was two turns, and there was very clear. Italian X made the active decision to take a little tiny bit more damage than he had to. And I think both turns, it was one damage. So theoretically, he could be at three, maybe even four health right now, um, which is a huge difference from one, depending on what OE top decks. And again, I just want to point to those again. Those might have been decisions that led to Italian X being at one health right now. I'm trying to think of how much of a difference there actually is between, say, one and three, because Unspeakable Horror, I think, is the only thing that deals less than three damage. And we've already seen two copies of that get played out of OE. So seeing the third is a lot less likely than, say, seeing another Fervor or another Decimate. Yep. But it doesn't look like he's found Ooh. any of that. And I don't know that OE's going to be able to come back into this one unless he can find a Fervor top deck. 
Yeah, these are all units. Wow, this feels bad. He's got all units in hand that... Wait, one, two, three fearsome. And there's, yeah, there's plenty of fearsome blockers. I'm, I'm like looking at this hand of Oe and trying to understand the floating turn four. Maybe his hand at that time was like double unspeakable decimate. Well, there could be like kind of a five-headed play here because if you look at the board... He can actually win again through another attack. Or no, actually, for Demacia just loses it. So we just need to have, we just need to oh, have Noxian yeah. Fervor or something off. For Demacia opens you up to decimate, and I think that's what Italian X is considering. But as you had mentioned, yeah, I don't think you win the game without it, or at least you don't win the game this turn. There's there's no way that you win through decimate mm -hmm. is the best way to put it. Yeah, and I don't think you can play around a top deck like that, unfortunately. Um, so now there's that actually does open up two top decks though. Oh oh. Ooh. That actually is going to keep Oe alive, though. We're going to get another turn with a draw, and sometimes that is all he, you need. He does have to block everything, though, so he is going to lose his entire board here. Yeah, which means Noxie and Fervor will be off the table as a top deck. So we have Unspeakable Horror, we have Decimate, yep. we have Darius, and we have Darius. But Darius, well, Oe, I mean, Oe's going to have to play it anyways. I was going to say, Darius, you could be open to, like, single combat or something, but, I mean, we don't see a single combat. Oe is, you know, gonna have to play whatever he draws regardless. So, wow. So Oe doing a great job, just kind of staying alive, <laughs> just just to get those extra draws. Oh, but is it enough to win the game? Is the question, and we're gonna find out on the following turn because if Decimate or Unspeakable Horror aren't these specific top decks here, Darius also an option. Uh, there, there shouldn't be anything that he can get. Oh, and now we, we're even on a shorter plot because the Relentless <laughs> Pursuit comes out of Italian oh, X. That's yeah, that so is not it. Stygian Onlooker. That is unfortunate for Atai, or sorry for Oe and uh, Italian X going to go ahead and take it there. So not the shortest finals ever. We are going to go ahead and go to a game three. But fortunately, at least for me anyways, we get to see another spider aggro game. So, and I mean, listen. Not for nothing, but oh, he tried. That was oh yeah, for sure. That was five or six draws in a row where he just needed a top deck of any sort of burn damage, and he just drew all units. So that was very much still in the realm of possibility for Oe uh, to go ahead and take that one there. Targover Whelm. <laughs> all right, oh, Italian oh. X. <laughs> the spicy name. <laughs> Let's get it. So, uh, all right. Let me let me just say I want to I want to say something here. I I, I want to listen. All right, I'm glad because honestly I am I'm just gonna I am a little bit sick of some some of the complaints maybe about like stale metas and stuff like that. Can we just look at the finals match here and what decks are being played? I, I just want to point this out. Now you can say whatever you want about War Mothers being banned or we still saw a lot of War Mothers or Lee Sin or whatever, but at the end of the day. We have Targonian Overwhelm with, <laughs> with Draven versus Spider Aggro with Nocturne. These are decks we have not been seeing as of late. And they are both... Well, I don't know about this Targon Overwhelm deck yet. But Spider Aggro is confirmed good. Like, this is a good deck. I'm sorry. This deck made it to the finals. Is it not confirmed good? Is that not the metric by which we stack it against? I mean, I mean it made it just as far as Spider Aggro did. Well, because I, all right, listen, I'm just kind of bolstering the confirmation with me I, playing it on ladder because if, if you could explain away why a deck luckily wins one tournament, right? Um, I feel like you could do that if you wanted to. You can't explain this away. This deck is good. If you play it on ladder, you will ladder up, okay? Just just go play it. Trust me. You won't regret it. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm all for Spider Aggro. <laughs> oh, really? I, I couldn't tell this, JW. <laughs> so, but right now, though, unfortunately, playing the uh, Stygian Onlooker there, turn one for Oe, feels really bad. Which leads me to believe that Oe is off to a pretty bad start hand-wise. And uh, Italian X going to get some damage through for sure here. I don't imagine Oe going to block because we are going to want to attempt to level up this Elise. And yep, there it is. I thought he might block with the 1-1 if he had another Elise or a Crawling Sensation in hand. But no, it's the Precious Pet. So we are going to get the Elise level up. There are two Axes though. So everything does represent a Fearsome Blocker. You know, barring a frenzied skitterer that we have seen Oe running before. Yeah. So frenzied skitterer, another card I think that people underestimate. You know, when you have uh, like decisive maneuver, super underestimated, can push through a lot of damage. 
French and Skidder are very much the same in that it's it's a little bit lower costed, but does represent cost that, ratio wise a lot of damage. That feels like such a wild statement to me because I remember, I mean, obviously it was months ago at this point, but at, at one point in the, the game for for you that are new to Legends of Runeterra, Frenzied Skitterer was yeah. unabashedly the best three drop in the game. Oh yeah, Easy. there was no other opinion you could possibly hold on best three drop. Yeah, yeah, because of the effect alongside it. It used to be three health for those who, who might not know. It used to be three health, and that was insane. And now we see it here. There's one blocker that will trade with probably uh, I don't know the house spider or the precious pet. Who knows? Who cares? Because now we're gonna get a crap ton of damage. Wow, um, and this is the power of Spider Aggro. This is the swarm I was talking about in being able to push through so much damage. And yeah, yep, you know what? We even <laughs> we even have the chat mess. You know what, chat? That's correct. Uh, whoever's chatting with Italian X right now, 100%. That indeed is a lot of damage. Wow. Uh, we are pulling the Draven, it looks like, to, I guess, just, uh, it, it looks like we're going for some trades here, uh, valuing getting them off the field which is oh actually no there's not enough mana. i was gonna say it's unfortunate because we do have things like uh the astral protection in hand but we don't have enough mana for it anyway so no nowhere near enough mana but we are gonna get both axes out we are gonna lose the elise and at the end of the day always coming out ahead on this one in terms of the board as well as i think card advantage but these spiders are gonna turn back into uh, sort of dinky little guys losing the <laughs> attack buff at the end of the turn losing the fearsome losing the challenger I mean, th these spiders have gone from significant threats back down to spiders. Well, yeah, and I do think... So Italian X, I think, did a pretty good job there of mitigating that damage. Um, Card-wise, they're still kind of on the same level. Uh, so, you know, nobody's really lost one way or the other as far as that's concerned. And at the end of the day, that was that was going to be a big swing in damage, and it only evened the Nexus health total there uh, for OE, bringing them down to 15. So uh, good job by Italian X, but unfortunately... This is about where it ends for Italian X and the aggression, which is going to be rough because this Solari soldier is no longer a fearsome blocker next turn, which is a big deal. Does have the axe for it, though, so can turn it back into one. But I do think there is going to be at least five damage coming at Italian X because what would you even discard to the axe at this point? I feel like you need this Captain Farron to actually win the game. I don't know. Yeah sort of what we're looking at in terms of mid-game threats out of Italian X in Targon Noxus. I mean, Darius, of course, could come off the top, but it would just be, you know, a pseudo vanilla 6-5 with that one keyword attached to it. You're nowhere near actually getting your opponent down to the 10 HP. And Pale Cascade off the unspeakable heart. Wow, that is one of the best cards you can get Nightfall-wise. Um, I'm a little bit curious as to why we unspeakable horrored the elusive. I don't know if we have an elise and maybe we're gonna we're gonna pull the elusive unit. Uh, it just seems a little. Oh yeah, okay. I was just about to say Darius could be lethal here for oh we okay. Well, that's... okay. We're gonna, we're gonna make as effective a Darius blocker as humanly possible. Uh yeah, and now okay, so that actually represents a blocker that would kill Darius as well, which is a big deal. Uh, I don't think. I don't think OE... only only if you could stop your opponent from leveling the Darius. Oh, that, yeah, that's a good point. It will level on attack here, because otherwise you're gonna have to use that spinning axe and discard your Captain Farron. And I don't, yeah. So it, it, wait, what? Oh, okay. So he's actually he's blocking in a way to avoid the Darius level and get trades, uh, which I think is smart. I think that's what he has to do right now. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I like you said, he does have to keep this Farron. This Farron is how he wins right now. Um, not only that, but um, you would take a lot of damage if you killed the Darius. Yeah, <laughs> it feels bad, but yeah. This these are actually the blocks that preserve you the most life. I mean, this one technically preserves you the most life, but I'm curious. Uh, only by one, it seems. Yeah. I mean, do you value keeping the elusive unit, I guess, is the question. I, I think you do, because you need to get your opponent down to 12 to play through that space, yeah. technically. But um, I'm very curious as to how many Darius are being played, because w w this is the first time we've seen Darius from OE. Mm -hmm. I know I personally play three, at least two Nocturne, one Darius. I have also played with uh, one, or sorry, two Darius, one Nocturne. Both seem decent. Um, I know a lot of people would probably argue, oh my god, Darius is way better than Nocturne. I mean, it really depends on, on what kind of decks you're facing. Um, 
I'm just curious to see what OE decided to bring. I, I know it's definitely three Elise. I just don't know what the combination of Darius and Nocturne is. Okay, so Decisive Maneuver is actually not a bad pickup for Italian X because that just represents a stun on the Darius, but it Ooh. looks like OE has enough burn in hand to finish off the game. There's Decimate number one. That wasn't even a Darius's Decimate. Legion Saboteur Ooh, yep. is going to be lethal. I don't think there's anything Italian X can do about this. Wow. Is his emote wheel empty except for a Shen in the top left? <laughs> think so yeah wow this is uh really good to see oe not only take it away because he got second place in the eu tournament but also take it away with good old spider aggro i don't want to say i called it but i called it i've been i've been screaming the praises of this deck since the beginning of the tournament congratulations to oe for taking it all the way to the finals winning Duels Room Terra number 17. And that's a wrap. We got Oe taking home first place after a second place finish in the tournament previously. Oe on fire this weekend. So awesome stuff to see. Can't wait to see Oe perform in the EU Masters tournament uh, either. That's that's going to be some fun stuff. So, uh, But as always, everybody stay healthy, stay positive. I hope shit just works for you. And peace out.